a beautiful freaking day out. This is the weather that I deserve after suffering through an Arizona summer, which is like a free trial to going to hell. It's like a taste of it. A very, very small taste to the weeping and gnashing of teeth being cast out into the darkness away from the light of God. Are we gone? We're going. Oh, my, my bad. All right, gentlemen, today we're taking a quick little look at the Spirita System split rig. I saw this, that Spirita System rolled out a rig like this, and I was actually very excited. So I reached out to him and said, hey, Adam of Spirita Systems, may I pretty please have a rig like this? Because I watched him use it in his machine gunner video where he had this similar rig, and he was using it to run in conjunction with an M240 Lima. And he was doing it to great success. And I thought it was really cool. I thought it was very neat. And I was like, manja, manja, manja. I'm a gear nerd too. Let me consume. So. He sent it over free of charge because it's good showbiz, baby. So today we're gonna go over it. So I have ran it a little bit with and without armor, and I have noticed things that I like and don't like. So we'll kind of dive into those today. Now I will preference that this is not a super duper in-depth, like I've worn this for a year straight. It's a more very shallow in, and it's gonna tie into a larger, broader topic of when we go in down the road. But I think that this rig deserves its own video. <sighs> Exposition, all right. So splitting the rig off, huh, see what I did there? We will take a look at her. And I think they did a good job with it. I think it's pretty cool. So for the context, there seems to have been a resurgence with LBEs, a spoiler future video, but we'll try and not give too much context and just go over the rig itself. So essentially real quick, I may butcher certain Molly terms, but if I do, then bear with me. So to break it down, make it very simple. There's three components that make up this rig and make it really what it is. We have is a left cell, a right cell, and the middle butt pack. Now, I think maybe there's some potential that these could be their own little micro rig placard if you rig them up right, but that's not really the purpose of this rig. Now, on the left placard, we have this massive large pouch, and I like that Spiritus has these big old pouches because one thing that really enticed me to them, this one's empty, is I could store, if I'm doing a belt fed style content or a video, or I'm running a belt fed in general, I can fit in linked ammo into these pretty easy. He showed that in his video, which I thought was a really cool video. I'm gonna link that video actually to his machine gunner setup video, which I think is a really cool, like when guys have that knowledge and they share it, it's a real big blessing. So really cool. And then you have, of course, the pouch up here that you can put stuff into. Pretty little simple thing. Now we have this pouch right here, which I think is their spud pouch. I'm not sure off the top of my head, but essentially you can run it with a number of varying different mags and or equipment such as smoke grenades, which I think is cool. If I was running a belt fed, I would probably go smoke grenades or a radio and then having my linked ammo in here. And then on the inside, we have some stretchy nylon webbing that you can stuff mags into. We have a little bit of a wider one and then a classic AR-15 mag. And then we have a smaller, little mag pouch that won't really fit an AR-15 mag, but could fit a tourniquet or other tools that you may need on your person. Now, between all this, there is a Velcro layer that you can take use of if you are like me, and I used a sword dump pouch that can also roll up and get out of the way because I'm a fan of dump pouches. I know some guys aren't. I'm just a fan of the dump pouch, and it's another little thing you can just put random stuff into. It's really not that intrusive, and I'd rather have it than not have it, but uh, keep in mind, I'm not an experienced veteran infantryman like some guys that may say they don't like dump pouches, so it's a good thing to know. Now we'll move on to the butt pack because it's very similar setup on the right side. It's kind of redundant if we go over it. So we move on to the butt pack and you'll see it's a rather little interesting setup. It's a modern take on the classic butt pack. And I like what they did because it's a really clean, elegant look. And I want to give them props because Spirit of Systems does have a good eye for aesthetics. Not only is their marketing very good, but their gear is also very good too. And I think that comes through with their product. So I saw the butt pack and I was like, man, that's probably one of the coolest damn butt packs I've ever seen. Now, some guys did not like the butt pack due to the price point of the butt pack, which is understandable, but I can't complain because I got it for free. But if I had to pay out of pocket, I could see your concerns. Now we have Molly webbed on here, two Nalgene bottle holders. And then on the inside, you have a pretty good amount of storage what did I put in here? Oh, I put some desert Swedish camo in here from Americana Pipe Dream Apparel, the sponsor of this video. Guys, Americana Pipe Dream Apparel is fantastic young Zoomers getting after it in the Millsurf space and arena. I like those guys a lot. And they will hook up your collection with night vision manuals, gear, clothing, whatever you need to excel on the flat range. And they do an excellent job at it. And they are a great vibe. We also have to thank, of course, Optics Planet. If you find yourself in a room with them, tell them LARP. And that'll get you 7% off the entire store, helping to keep your inventory well stocked with all the stuff you may need because they have been hooking up the channel with all the stuff 
that I need. So a big thank you to Optics Planet. Now, you can see that just how the amount of volume you could potentially store in this butt pack. And I do think that it's a rather good design. You can't really see, but there's some holes at the bottom with the grommets for draining in case things get wet. And then you also have some Velcro lined on the inside, both the front and the back. So in case you want to mount some Velcro items in there, which I think is cool because if you had some heavier things you want to keep retained, you can get a placard of sort mounted in there and hold it closer to your body, which I think in the grand scheme of things I'm going to do. And that's essentially it as far as excitement goes for the butt pack, minus the one little back pocket zipper back here, which you can store some more stuff in. So it's a very simple rig, I will say. Very straight forward, and I think they have a good attention to detail. So Spirit of Systems has a good crew of guys over there with a lot of experience, and Adam, the owner, he also has a good amount of experience. So he knows what he's looking for, and he knows what he wants, and that does show up on their gear market. Now we gotta talk about the harness and or the yoke, I believe it is called. One must be equally yoked, because that is important. I will say I do like this yoke setup. Some of my older LBEs that I have in the collection, they are a little bit either thicker or fatter or more padded, which is both good and bad, but these are very slick and streamlined. Now, one thing that is missing on this rig, which fell off because I did not mount it right, which is a me issue, is going to be a attachment that clips up to your chest. Does that look weird when I hold it like this? Like I'm holding like a, like a little G-string bra. So essentially it hooks up and it'll help keep the straps together if you're running it on your person, which I need to put back on. So I'll give him props in that aspect. And if you want to swap it out with different style harnesses, you could. I know some guys may, but overall I think it's a rather good design. Now, I ran this thing with armor and I ran it without armor. With armor, I will say it's a nice little add on because what we're seeing is, we're seeing is a need for guys to carry more ammo based off certain conflicts. I know I've kind of harped on this already, so I don't want to beat it like a dead horse, but essentially larger near peer forces, you need to hold ground longer, you're gonna need more stuff. It's not as fast as hit and run raids like we saw in the global war on terror era. I think this one I like a lot running with modern plate carrier setups. It's just another layer of stuff that you can carry on you that a battle belt just may not be able to do. In theory, you could put a lot of stuff on your battle belt, but if it's not rigged up to be like with the weight support, if you don't maybe have a harness on it, it could be rather uncomfortable. And this sits up higher on the body than say a battle belt would, which sits more around like the the waistline or maybe more around the hips right no, like a natural where the belt is right it's a battle belt this is on me sitting more up on up here and one thing this kind of gets into what i don't like is how it rides on my body type in particular. So I don't know what's going on with me, but the way the mags ride on my body right here isn't necessarily the most comfy, and that's just one of the complaints I have with it overall. Now, another thing with me personally, LBEs, is like getting to stuff on my person due to my range of motion. When I'm trying to do that, it's like cooking my shoulder, trying to hold that position, try and find it. Buddy, I do train shoulders. Okay, I give up. It's not impossible, it's just kind of frustrating because I'm having to like swim around. It's not as bad if I don't have armor on. When you start throwing armor on, you kind of get turtle shelled a little bit, and so you're like swimming around within that because it just adds extra layers and you start to feel like bulky. I know it's a lot, but that's just one of my observations from wearing it and I'm reporting back to you. So overall, really cool little piece of kit. I like it a lot. I think it's neat. I think it's very interesting that going into the modern era, we're seeing time act as a flat circle with LVEs coming back and getting a facelift opposed to what they used to be. One thing I haven't tried yet, which I plan to try in the future, is rucking with an LBE on. That's one thing that I hear is rather annoying and painful if you do it wrong. So I gotta dial that in because I wanna try it out and get that data for myself and just see how it goes. Because I've tried rucking with a plate carrier on before and it does suck and it's not fun. So I wanna see what it's like with a plate carrier and LBE or just the LBE and the ruck. That covers the video pretty quick. So this. Is is a quick little look at the Spirit of Split Rig, which is kind of like a modern LBE with a facelift. I think it's a very aesthetically pleasing design. I think they did a good job. I have little complaints, but I need to get some more feedback, which will, of course, yet again, like I said at the beginning, tie into a larger video. Gentlemen, if you enjoyed this, feel free to leave me a comment. I love those comments a lot, more than I can explain because I like to read them when I'm on the toilet. So if you're on the toilet, let me see that comment. As always, got nothing else for you guys. I'll catch you on the flip. Maybe these could even use to be their own little micro wig. <sighs> micro wig. What are we guys? Um, what are we doing the gwitty? You can't talk, dude. <laughs>